the 2020-2021 school year. I want to take a moment to acknowledge your hard work and dedication during the transition to a hybrid and online learning platform. Life in the midst of COVID-19 has been frustrating for all of us. It is easy for distractions, criticism, and stress to detract us from our mission. However, the North Ridgeville City Schools are committed to providing the tools and support needed in order to ensure the safety of students and staff while also continuing to provide high quality academics. This year is going to be challenging, no doubt, but I want you to know that I have so much confidence in the ability of our staff to adapt, innovate, and lead in challenging times. What you accomplished in the spring was remarkable. Your hard work and diligence further solidified the trust and confidence our community has in our schools and in all of you. I understand the changes that were made to prepare for this school year impacts our staff directly. Whether you have a new assignment, are working in an unfamiliar building, change job responsibilities, or are anxiously trying to integrate technology into your lesson plans, I want you to know we are all in this together. If we help each other and are there for each other when things get tough, we will inevitably be successful. So much has happened this summer that has made it challenging to know whether or not we are making the right decisions. Circumstances were fluid and information and guidance changed daily. If I'm being truly honest, there were many times this summer where I felt overwhelmed and outmatched by events outside of my control. I know that right now many of you also feel overwhelmed and outmatched. But this week our students return. Now is the time to let you the experts get to work. You are the experts at finding ways to make students feel safe, secure, and supported. I have every confidence in your creativity in finding new ways to fulfill our mission, to connect and educate our students. Thank you. Thank you for your commitment to supporting each other, our students, and our community. I will be here for you every step of the way during this transition. No matter the difficulties that may lie ahead, I know we will persevere as a district and we will be successful together. I look forward to working with you. Have a wonderful school year and remember to stay Ranger Strong. Hello staff, I am the North Ridgeville City Schools Board of Education President, Frank Baca. On behalf of the Board of Education, I want to extend my sincere gratitude to all of the staff for their hard work and dedication to the students and families of North Ridgeville City Schools. The summer has been full of changes and I'm proud of the collaboration between the administration and our unions. The pandemic has forced many changes to working conditions of our staff and I understand the changes are not easy. Despite the difficult challenges, I know our staff will ensure a safe and comfortable transition to the school year for our students and their families. The safety of our students and the staff are and will continue to be of the utmost of importance. The Board of Education will continue to collaborate with the administration to make any necessary adjustments for the future. I believe in you, our staff. I believe in your ability to work together to provide an environment where our students will receive an outstanding education. And I believe the steps we are making will ensure a safe and successful school year. On behalf of the Board of Education, I hope you have a wonderful year. Because of you, we are Ranger Strong. Good morning, Rangers, and welcome back. My name is Kevin Corcoran, and I'm the president of the North Ridgeville City Schools Endowment Fund. The Endowment Fund is a group of individuals who get together to raise money on behalf of the school system, and we give out grants, and those grants go out to teachers and other staff members. And last year, we gave out around twelve dollars to $14,000 in grant money, and we've been doing that for the last several years. Those grant applications are due usually around February 14th, Valentine's Day, so it's an easy day for you to remember. But the idea of it is to think about things that you might be able to do to enhance the educational opportunities for your students. And those opportunities are then uh, reviewed and funded by the endowment funds. Now, we'd love to defend everybody's uh, ideas. Uh, we raise money through a golf outing, but one of the ways that you can help, we ha uh, have a payroll uh, deduction that we're asking each teacher to give a dollar per paycheck. And with that money, it all funnels back to you 
through your grant applications. Uh, we do also offer a scholarship for a graduating senior, and so the money all just funnels back to the school system. So again, uh, help us help you further the educational opportunities of the school system, of the students, and uh, we'd be happy to help or ask, answer any of your questions. There are school uh, members, board members, uh, administration, teachers that are on the board. There's outside community members such as myself that are on the board. And then we also have some retired teachers that are on the board as well. So uh, anything that we can do to help you make this year a better time and every year a better time for your students, uh, we'd be more than happy to help wherever we can. Thanks, have a great year, and stay safe.